give you a monthly salary of 100,000 to take care of a bisque doll, are you willing to? This job is complex, because this bisque doll has emotions and can move, and will steal clothes and cut hair while you are in the shower, as if it existed in life is weird. The airy old castle, and mysterious attic, seem to hide many unknown secrets, Greta is fleeing from her ex-boyfriend, a domestic abuser, and has applied for a job as a nanny in this remote villa, the owner is away from home at the moment. Looking at the clean carpet, she removes her shoes and walks around the luxurious house, fiddling with toys. A voice behind her startles her. It's Malcolm, the store owner who regularly comes to the villa to deliver household goods. Malcolm is funny and enthusiastic as Greta's guide, tells her that the couple is very generous, but he is hesitant to mention their son. The lady of the house returns and takes Greta to see her son, but Greta notices that her shoes are missing. With a subtle expression, the hostess explains that perhaps her son is playing a joke on her. This is the man of the castle. After the greeting, Greta sees the object of her care, a ceramic bisque doll, Brahms. She thought the family was playing a trick on her. She laughed out loud, but when she saw the old couple's serious and slightly angry look, Greta was a bit overwhelmed. At that moment, Malcolm appeared to break the awkwardness. He said a casual hello to Brahms, making Greta feel like she was the strange one to get the job. She also had to put her head together and greet Brahms decently. From the hostess, she learned that they had looked for many nannies, but Brahms was not satisfied. But he liked Greta so much that he started telling her how to take care of him, wake him up at 7 every day, get dressed and eat breakfast, read poetry, and play music, everything according to the schedule. Greta found it hard to believe, but outwardly she was very cooperative. After all, she needed the job now. Fortunately, she was chosen for the job. Early the next morning, Greta sees her mistress scolding Brahms for making a mess of the house. The devastated old couple decided to go on vacation and entrusted Brahms to Greta's care, leaving behind their schedule and saying goodbye to him with great reluctance. Greta promised to take good care of Brahms. After the old couple left, Greta, who was unbelieving, put Brahms on the chair but always felt Brahms was staring at her, so she brought a cloth and covered him up, leaving her schedule behind. She made strawberry toast and poured a glass of wine, enjoying the afternoon tea. It was already evening, in the darkness, she was scared by Brahms, the cloth covering the bisque doll fell off. In a fit of anger she directly to bisque doll thrown into the rocking chair, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, during a thunderstorm, Greta seems to be awakened by the crying of a child. She took a candle and searched for the sound. She came to the photo of the family, but the child in the photo grabbed her by the throat. Greta wakes up, but it's just a nightmare. She comes to see Bisque's doll and finds him in tears. Is it possible that he is not taking care of him, and he is still aggrieved? Greta laughed at her fussing once again when she saw the roof leaking. Put down the Bisque doll, she notices something strange about the attic on the roof, but it's locked and can't be opened at all. Malcolm arrives with his weekly supply of household goods. Greta is apprehensive and asks about the family's son's past. From Malcolm's mouth, she learned that 20 years ago, the family's son, Brahms, died in a fire when he was 8 years old. And then there was this bisque doll. For 20 years, the old couple remembered their son this way. And they would find a nanny every year, if Brahms had not died now and they were also the same age. Then Malcolm took the opportunity to ask Greta out. They were new to the area and had no friends, so they happily agreed. When she was ready to change for the date, she found Brahms staring at her. So Greta closed the door and took her clothes to the shower. Her clothes and necklace disappeared in the shower. And even her hair was cut off. Frightened, she rushed back to the house and found all her clothes had been ransacked. Leaving only the bath towel on her body, she pushed up the door in a panic and turned around to see the ladder down in the attic. She thought Malcolm was joking, but she had to go up to check because she was in a hurry and had no clothes. Just as she came up, the ladder automatically retracted, and the place was instantly dark. At that moment, Malcolm also came to get her. Greta shouted for help from the small window and tried to pry it open. Not only did Malcolm not hear her, he just knocked on the door a few times and left without an answer. Panicked, she groped for the exit but was stunned by the hanging figure. Woke up again the next day. The only thing that scared her was the clothes hanging there. She inadvertently saw a photo album with pictures of Brahms as a child. And underneath the family portrait of a smiling and well-behaved Brahms was another one with a grim expression. At that moment, the ladder in the attic also opened automatically, and Greta returned to her room. Except for the red dress, all the other clothes are back. She tells Malcolm these strange things, and Malcolm helps her check the villa. 
but nothing is wrong. But still, strange things happen one after another. At night, while brushing her teeth, Greta feels a shadow pass behind her. She came to Bisk Doll's room. Bisk Doll looked at her with a crooked head. She felt strange. Greta woke up again. It was another nightmare. She opened the door to her room and her lost shoes were placed at the door. And Bisk Doll was sitting on the bed with the schedule she was supposed to fulfill. Greta is terrified and rushes back to her room when the phone rings. She picks up the phone. It's a little boy's voice, questioning why she didn't keep her promise. It's Brahms. Greta is terrified. At that moment, a figure came outside the house, and a childish voice spoke. I promise I'll be good. It's your favorite. Greta opened the door to her room, and there was her usual favorite food. Toast. Looking at Brahms sitting in front of the bed, she suddenly understood. Maybe this bisque doll hides Brahms' soul, and he wants to please himself and let himself accompany him. After that, Greta began to take care of the bisque doll according to the schedule, not daring to have the slightest slack. The camera pans. The old couple came to the beach, filled their pockets with stones, and sank into the deep sea together, hand in hand. Maybe they couldn't stand bisque doll's weirdness and chose to leave. Malcolm couldn't reach Greta. So he arrived early to make a delivery. He invited Greta again, but she refused to leave Brahms again. So she refused. After Malcolm leaves, Greta wanted to confirm Brahms's presence again. So she brought food to test. However, Brahms didn't move. So she dumped the food angrily. When she turned back, Brahms had moved away. Again frightened, she called Malcolm back. Excited and nervous, she wanted to show him what she had found. Malcolm needed more convincing. Sure enough, after the test, Brahms didn't move a muscle, Malcolm is speechless, but Greta doesn't give up and tells Bisk Doll that she will leave him if he doesn't move. Sure enough, the second time, the Bisk Doll disappeared. Malcolm is speechless and completely convinced. Both believe that the Bisk Doll is attached to Brahms's soul. So Greta took better care of Bisk's doll, put him to bed, kissed him goodnight, then wanted to relax with Malcolm, just as the lights went out. Loud music came from downstairs, rushed to find Brahms sitting alone at the table, turned the music up to the max, probably his way of showing his discontent and anger, Malcolm felt it was a bit dangerous here, so he advised Greta to leave the place with him, but Greta doesn't agree, and she thinks Brahms is just a little willful and won't hurt her, she wants to keep her promise and take care of the Bisque doll, Malcolm had to tell the truth that he was hiding when he saw that he could not be persuaded, when Brahms was 8 years old, a little girl often played with him, but after attending Brahms's birthday, the little girl never appeared again. Later, the little girl's body was found in the woods, with her skull smashed. But by the time the police arrived at the house, it was already on fire. The old couple escaped, but Brahms was burned to death. This means there is no way to determine the goodness of this soul. But Greta still refused to leave. She put Bisk's doll to sleep and went to the attic to look through the photo album. Sure enough, she saw a photo of Brahms and the girl together. In the photo, Brahms is staring at the girl eerily, looking the same as the Bisque doll, but she remained unmoved, thinking it was just a rumor, until her ex-boyfriend found her. This is an old scoundrel, threatening her to take her away. Some desperate Greta in holding the Bisque doll to sleep, crying to help Brahms help themselves. Unexpectedly, the Bisque doll disappeared in the middle of the night. Greta found her ex-boyfriend's head dripping with mouse blood, and the glass also wrote get out. But the ex-boyfriend insisted that Greta was the one who made a mistake and didn't believe in the Bisque doll. At this point, Malcolm was not worried. Greta also rushed over, but the ex-boyfriend was grumpy and did not listen to advice and smashed the Bisque doll. Then the whole house was shaken. Malcolm proposed to leave quickly, but the ex-boyfriend refused to listen and said to Malcolm look at this mirror. It is big and round. And then... A grown man with a ceramic mask came out of the wall. Before they knew it, the masked man rushed to the ex-boyfriend and finished him with the Bisque doll pieces. Greta and Malcolm rushed to escape, but the masked man could get out of the wall no matter where they hid. The entire villa is open to the walls. In a panic, the two escape into a passage. Inadvertently, they broke into the masked man's house. Looking at the Bisque doll in her own clothes on the bed, it turns out that this person has been spying on her, and the letter left by the old couple on the table. The letter reads, they have left and will not come back. This girl is now yours. The girl refers to Greta, and the masked man is Brahms. He's not dead. He's just been hiding in the villa's walls for over 20 years. Greta is devastated, and Malcolm can't be bothered to comfort her, so he rushes to drag her away. Finally, 
They found the exit, but it was locked. At that moment, Brahms arrives and violently knocks Malcolm out. In the nick of time, Greta kicks open the exit and escapes. Brahms shouted after her that he would be good and told her to come back and that he would kill Malcolm if she left. Running to the door, Greta suddenly stops, turns around, and returns to the villa. She finds an extended version of a screwdriver and puts it in her pocket. As Brahms approaches, she suddenly yells at him that it's time for bed at this hour. Brahms was subdued and obediently came to the bedroom, although his body is already an adult because he has not seen the sun since childhood. His mind is still like an eight-year-old child, only stimulated by violence. Greta put him to bed and let him sleep, but Baba asked her to kiss him. Greta had no choice but to bend down and use a screwdriver to stab him in the stomach, but the fool is so strong that he instantly throws Greta up and chokes her, looking like she's about to suffocate. Greta pulls up the screwdriver and takes down Brahms with an additional cut. She found Malcolm and drove Malcolm took away from this horrible place. A smile appeared on her face, finally free from the gloom of everything. In the villa, the ceramic bisque doll was put back together. Brahms did not die, but he can only hide forever in the cracks of this dark and damp wall.